Kenya has experienced continued growth in GDP over the last few years, supported by ongoing public infrastructure projects, strong public and private sector investment, and appropriate economic and fiscal policies, reflecting the broad-based and diversified nature of the Kenyan economy. As we have heard about mega-projects as one of the contributing areas to Kenya's economy, the country is not relaxed when it comes to putting up a number of mega-projects. In this video let's have a look at a number of mega-projects Kenya is coming up with from 2024 through 2025 and on. Geothermal Data Center While on a state visit to the United States, President William Rutos and the Kenyan government reached an agreement with Microsoft and G42, a leading AI and cloud computing company based in the UAE in order to develop a renewable energy-powered cloud data center in Kenya. Running on 100% renewable geothermal power and at the Ork area, geothermal fields in Naivashar, it is to be built as a sustainable, state-of-the-art data center campus powered entirely by geothermal energy from Kengan's iconic Ork area geothermal fields. At a cost of 1 billion US dollars, this Microsoft G42 Old Carrier Data Center campus is expected to go live within 24 months from 2024. The project is expected to provide scalable, secure, and high speed cloud computing and AI capabilities to accelerate digital transformation across Kenya, East Africa, and the Africa continent at large. Matawa Organic Fertilizer Plant Being made possible through a partnership with the US government and the county government of Kokomega, this project of an organic fertilizer plant after completion is to serve residents in 14 counties that is Kokomega, V. Higa, Kisumu, Bungoma, Nyamira, Kisi, Homer Bay, Migari, Bomet, Busia, Nondi, Transnzoya and Kariko. At a cost of 1 point to billion Kenyan shillings, the plant will have a capacity of 36,000 tonnes of organic waste collected from Kokomega County and its environs, and then in turn convert the waste into an upwards of 7,000 tonnes of organic fertiliser annually. With expectations of increasing yields, and also mitigate climate change effects. The plant is to produce organic fertilizer for horticulture and staple crops, insect protein for livestock feeds and green energy for equipment. The plant will convert organic waste, which includes food waste, fodder, sludge, agricultural waste, byproducts of seafood to produce animal feed and fertilizer. Regan Organics is to take full responsibility of the project. Malindi Power Storage Plant Through an approval received by UK-based power firm Globelic to set up a battery storage system for its Malindi solar plant to optimize the utilization of renewable energy, this project is prompted by the fact that solar plants are at their peak during the day, while the demand for electricity peaks in the evening. 
After the company spent 66 million US dollars to set up the 40 megawatt peak solar plant that started supplying electricity to the national grid in January 2021, the demand supply imbalance has prevented the plant from operating optimally, hence the need for the installation of a battery storage system. At a cost of 4.6 billion shillings, the plant is to offer a solution to attain flexibility, improve grid reliability and power quality, and support the scaling up of renewable energy, hence contributing to mitigatio of the impact of adverse weather patterns. Peak electricity demand occurs between 8 p.m. and 8.30 p.m. at the coastal region, and between 7.30 p.m. and 8 p.m. for the rest of the country. South Lokika Development, Phase 1 Conventional Oral Field Being currently in approval stage, with commercial production in 2026, final investment decision of the project will be approved in 2024, with the development course being expected to be 3.4 billion US dollars while involving the drilling of approximately 321 wells, production will continue until the field reaches its economic limit in 2044. Key contractors involved in the South Lokika development phase 1 include Design, Feed Engineering, Worley plus other contractors including Worley, PR Marriott Drilling, Earthview Geo Consultants and Trevic Geosystems and Engineering, the field is owned by Africa Oril, Total Energies, and Tullo Oril. Automated Nairobi Transport System This project involves rolling out an intelligent transport system with the introduction of automated fare collection, automatic vehicle management, passenger information and onboard video surveillance. Being under Nairobi Metropolitan Services, implementation is by Kent Car Group, a firm dealing with information technology for public transport. With headquarters in Istanbul, Turk, Kent Car produces intelligent transportation systems, hardware and software consistent with city-specific and international standards dealing in bus, metro, railways, cable cars, parking, bikes and taxis. The system intends to provide solutions and meet the needs of the demanding public transport sector in Nairobi. The introduction of an intelligent transport system to improve the quality of transit services within the city as well as minimize transportation costs. The automated fare collection system is to ensure commuters use mobile money like M-Pesa, credit cards like Mastercard and also scan to pay fares. Wake Multipurpose Dam Currently standing at over 92% completion, with official commissioning of this first phase of Thwake Multipurpose Dam being in December 2024, the dam has four phases, namely construction of an 80.5 meters high multipurpose dam with a storage capacity of 688 trillion cubic meters of water and associated preliminary works, located one kilometer downstream of the confluence of Thwake and Athi rivers. 
This will also involve a concrete-faced embankment dam covering an area of 9,217 acres. The second phase comprises development of hydropower generation station with a capacity of approximately 20 megawatts of power. The third phase will include development of water supply, sanitation and wastewater infrastructure, which will supply over 150,000 cubic meters per day of treated water to over 1.3 million people in the rural areas of Kichiwi. A Makwani County's plus Konza Techno City did in Machakos County. In turn, an irrigation scheme will be developed to irrigate 40,000 hectares, approximately 100,000 acres of land in Kenya's lower eastern region. Dandra Biopower Plant Being under a public-private partnership deal with a Chinese firm for the construction of Kenya's first waste to energy plant in Dandra, the plant is expected to produce 45 megawatts of electricity from solid waste, which is considered a game-changer and arguably the most sustainable way to handle the waste that keeps piling up at the Dandra dump site. Sitting on over 30 acres just outside of Nairobi, the Dandra dump site is East Africa's biggest landfill site and among the largest in the world. Hence this project is a perfect match. At a cost of 50 billion Kenyan shillings, the plant will be complete come 2026.